How's it going, guys? Um, it's your first time uh, with the channel. Uh, welcome. Thanks for watching. Um, it's a beautiful day here in the middle of March. It's over 50 degrees, but we're going to stay in the shop anyway. Um, you see behind me, here's a planter uh, that we're working on for a, for a local farmer. Um, but more importantly, uh, there's a little extra room in the shop here. So here's the truck behind me. And uh, as you can see, there is a uh, new hitch here that we're going to install today. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around. We'll take a little better look at it. Okay, so this is a big hitch products behind the roll pan hitch for the uh, yeah, 01 to 10 Silverado. Um, obviously, it's a lot heavier than what, what I've already got. Um, you know, what I've done for now, you can see here on the truck, um, as I have my stock hitch, it is in place. Um, you have to, you, you can basically, you can, you can slide it back by drilling new holes. You can use one of the factory holes and then drill two new holes on each side to, to use it. Um, but if you look at it kind of from a side profile, it's a little bit farther back, um, which makes it really a, a kind of a pain. Um, not all receivers will fit in there and you can't um, actually hook up to all trailers. So basically I'm trying to remedy that issue. I've tried to hook up to several trailers um, and but it just turns out that my uh, receiver wasn't long enough. So uh, that's what we're going to be solving today. Um, so we take a look at this and you know, it's a, it's a, it's a class four hitch, you know, so it's a little bit heavier than, than stock anyway, which is a great thing. Um, you know, they're primarily used for a lot of sled pullers and that kind of thing, but you can definitely still use it for regular applications, which is more my, my application. Um, you know, maybe it'll end up getting hooked to a sled sometime. And so I guess you might as well be ready for it if you're going to, right? So, um, overall, I mean, it's a, it's a really, uh, really heavily built. I was going to design and build my own and it just kind of came down to time um and for what the for what the price of this one is by the time that i bought the steel and had it powder coated and etc cetera, etc cetera, it would have uh not been a wash but it would have been close enough to a wash when you count my time into it that i went ahead and just bought this one and it's uh an easy bolt-on application so uh, it comes with all the hardware you need it comes with obviously the hitch itself the only thing that this hitch doesn't have that i'm not super thrilled about it does not have a spot for your factory wiring. Um, so I'm going to have to try to figure out what I'm going to do with that. So maybe at some point I'll end up welding the uh, the factory uh, plug mount on there. But for now, um, we'll probably zip tie it up in place somehow. So the first thing we've got to do here is I'm going to take off the tailgate and then uh, remove the roll pan and remove the factory hitch. And then we're actually going to drive down to uh, my place of work and use the plasma cutter there. Um, you have to you have to cut out a slight amount of your uh, your factory um, your factory cross member rear cross member to make this fit in there. But uh, I'll show that uh, in a little bit later video here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the take off the tailgate, take off the roll pan and uh, and the hitch as well, and uh, get a little more opened up. So the roll pan is out. Um, see, so now basically I just have to take off. You probably already know, but there's uh, there's three bolts per side um, inside this channel um, for the hitch itself. So we will remove those uh, those three bolts on each side quick, and then we'll be loose, um, and then we'll be able to head down to work. So now that everything's out, <clears throat> per Big Hitch's instructions, um, you have to measure up four inches from the bottom of the cross member, um, right where it comes off of the frame rail here, um, up all the way across all the uh, to the other side, and you have to plasma cut or uh, use a grinder wheel or whatever you want to use 
to cut all of this out. I mean, obviously this is all for your, uh, man, that's rusty. Um, all for your, uh, spare, uh, spare tire ups. I don't have one. Um, at least I don't keep it on the truck. Um, so basically you're gonna have to cut all of this out to make room for the, uh, for the new, for the new hitch coming here. Cause it's going to sit right up in this area. So I'm going to use a plasma cutter here. Um, I'm going to try to take video of it while I do it. Um, we're going to cut this out and then we'll grind it down and kind of paint over all the raw steel there. Um, to prevent it from rusting more. So um, we'll get to it. Okay, so my camera decided to cut out, but um, everything's out, everything's kind of ground down, um, smooth and flush, so um, we are done here. Basically, I'm going to wire these back up and uh, head back to the main shop, and uh, we should be ready. Basically, I need to, um, probably won't show up, but what I need to do is I need to drill out these holes here to 5 8 um, to be able to accept the new hardware, um, but other than that, that's all we have to do. Um, Everything else, basically, it should just slip fit up inside here then, and once it's on, then we can uh, work on getting the roll pan put back in. We'll probably we'll paint this stuff up just a little bit first, uh, probably do that off camera too, and then uh, and then we should be ready to rock. So we'll, uh, we'll go back to the main shop and, and uh, get the hitch on. All right, so it's obviously in. I did not take a video of me putting it in because I put it in by myself, and it was quite interesting. Um, it weighs just shy of 60 pounds, so you know it's a decent amount to hold up there while you're trying to put bolts in. So um, three bolts per side, um, one, two, three, one, two, three on the other side, um, and that's it. I mean, they it uh, they made it well, and it fits directly right where it needs to. So um, excuse me, these wires need to be uh, tucked up inside, um, and uh, basically what I'm going to do for now is basically I'm for the uh, the plug. Basically, I'm just going to zip tie it just above down here so you can't see it, but it's easy access still. And I'll have to decide what I want to do uh, for the long run there, but that's going to be good enough for now. So, um, yeah, no, it's pretty easy install. So um, the only thing I have left to do is obviously these wires and then put the roll pan on itself again, get all that put back in place. And then I have a uh, spring-loaded uh, license plate bracket to put on the... Uh, on the roll pan, uh, I actually left it at home, so I won't put that in this video, but uh, I'll put the roll pan on here so you can see right where it comes out. It's gonna be just just shy of flush with the with the hole in the roll pan, uh, giving you really easy access to get that pin in. Um, so let me get that on quick, and then uh, we'll take another bit quick video. All right, boys and girls, that's it. So if you look in here, it's just right, right below, just flush inside here, so you can slip your uh, <clears throat> slip your uh, receiver in there. So, like I said, I have a uh, a uh, spring-loaded flip-out license plate holder at home. I don't have it, so obviously, you know, this will be here, and you just it'll just come up, and you can uh, put your receiver in. Um, no harm, no foul. So, um, yeah, that's it. I mean, it was, it was an easy install. I say it was just the three bolts side to side. Um, other than that. Um, that's it. So I'm gonna put the tailgate back on. Say I'm gonna put the uh, put that uh, license plate thing on um, when I get home since I forgot it. And um, yeah, no, thanks for watching. Um, we'll uh, we'll see if this thing actually gets some use. Um, obviously, it's gonna get its normal use, wear and tear, pull and bumper pull uh, trailers. But um, we'll see if it ends up being hooked to anything else larger this summer or not. But uh, yeah. Um, overall pretty easy install and uh if you like the video give it uh give it a thumbs up and uh give it a share give it a subscribe whatever and um yeah no thanks for watching and uh we'll see you in the future mm -hmm.